Hey guys, welcome back. So one of the first things I noticed about this 991, unfortunately after I bought it, was that the door panels were starting to come away from the edges um, along the side of the windows. And uh, it's not something that you'd necessarily notice from outside the car, um, but it is something you notice once you open the doors and you sit down and you start to really take a good look at your car. I think I just had the buyer's stars in my eyes um, especially for this particular part of the car uh, when I was looking at it at the dealership. Um, it wasn't until I'd been driving it for a few days that I thought, hang on, that looks a bit weird, what is that? And I noticed that both door panels basically need to be replaced. So this is an issue um, that a lot of people have found with the 991 generation, uh, the first generation uh, 911, and also the 981 Boxsters and Caymans. Is it the 981 Boxster? Anyway, the Boxers and Caymans around the same kind of model years from sort of 2011 up to sort of 2015, 2016. This issue can hit you. And usually it happens if you have the sort of factory tint, which is, um, which is pretty, um, pretty subtle. This is the, the, the windows aren't tinted very much um, and they're left out in the sun. So you guys living in Florida and uh, Arizona and California, some of you probably know what I'm talking about. In fact, there's a Facebook group dedicated to this issue. Uh, now, Porsche will fix this if you um, are still within warranty. If you're borderline and you're just about to get out of warranty or you've just left warranty, it's really down to the good graces of the dealership near you. Um, if you have to go out of pocket, you're looking at about, at least for the 991, about $1,600 for each door panel, plus whatever it costs to install it, if you need um, Porsche to install it for you, and, and most of you probably want that to be the case. So, you know, potentially out of pocket over three grand for something which, in my opinion, that you know, that, that shouldn't happen in the first place. Um, but, you know, unfortunately it does. It's happened to this generation. I haven't heard of it happening to the 996s or the 997s or even the second generation 991. But if you're a first gen, naturally aspirated uh, 991 owner like I am, this can happen to you. Now, if you're just driving it a couple of days a week, you're leaving it in the, you know, the parking lot at the office, you're parking it in your garage overnight, you would probably never have this problem. Um, but if you leave it on the street, if it's parked outside in hot weather on a regular basis, this might happen. So uh, let's take a look and um, let's also take a look at my current tinting um, and then we're gonna get it installed and see what it looks like. So we'll do a before and we'll do an after. Let's go check it out. So it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, I went to Porsche of Minneapolis to ask them to do the job for me. They have ordered the parts, the parts came in, they did the install for me. I left the car there the other day and uh, they turned it around in a couple of hours. And so now the interior looks back to factory essentially. Both of the door panels have been completely replaced. They took them off, they had to rewire them, you know, reuse the existing wiring harnesses and so on from the old door panels, but now they look great. Let's go take a look. So now you can see the door panel is sitting just perfectly flush against the window, the way it should be, all the way along the edge. Looks just like brand new. I'm really happy with how it turned out. That's the way it should look. It's a real shame that these panels come away from the door, but that's great. Compared to how it used to look, it's night and day. 
Well guys, just a short video today. It sounds like there are a lot of people out there in the same position with these trim panels uh, bending and warping and, and frankly, just looking terrible. So if your car is still under warranty or if it's only just recently gone outside of its warranty period, I strongly recommend you get down to your local Porsche dealership and you ask them whether or not they're gonna be able to fix these panels for you. If your dealership won't take care of it for you, then get on the phone and speak to corporate headquarters and see if they will do something for you. I have heard of a couple of cases where uh, Porsche corporate um, have considered people's cases who were sort of on the borderline of their warranty period. It's, it's no guarantee, but it's definitely worth a phone call. Otherwise, you know, you are looking at outlaying about $3,000 if you have the basic trim, probably more if the trim is leather, and then the cost, the effort, which is a good sort of three or four hours worth of labor to get the door panels installed. I hope you found this video useful. If anyone finds himself in the same position and you're looking for advice um, or you want to send me photos, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, please get in touch. Uh, I'd love to talk about this stuff. Thanks for checking in and I'll see you again in another video soon. Bye.